don't come here after work. Welcome back to uh, Attempted Unknown. This is our sixth episode. Um, we're here with Lloyd and Ballard at the Four Bs, which is a spot that we come down every once in a while. Well, Lloyd and I are going to talk a little bit about how we've changed as people since we've been in the Postal Service, and then uh, I think we just might drink some beer. I'm part of your sixth episode. You're here for the wait, sixth wait, episode. Wait, wait. What is this? What show? Why? What? Why? Wait, why oh, wasn't it's a show. I, why wasn't I here the first episode? That's what I want to know. Well, we wanted to cover the important things first. Right. How was your uh, <laughs> How was your rep today? Today was kind of it's sort of sort of medium heavy, yeah, like uh, starting off with volumetrically. Or? Volumetrically speaking, yeah. I always, when I go to a party. I ask people where they live, right to their face. What's your address? Uh, if they live in Seattle. And then I can decide whether I can tell them or not that I've delivered their mail or I know what their house looks like. Or misdelivered their mail. Or misdelivered their mail, yeah. That kind of scares some people sometimes. It shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't. Most of it, it shouldn't. 98% yeah. accurate. Yeah. It's like a realtor will say, oh, how much is your house worth? <laughs> Think about the number of people that are on my route. I mean, there's got to be in the neighborhood of 1,200 people that I recognize. It's just interesting to me that mm. out of nine, 900 or 1,000 stops, you're only at each address for two or three seconds. On the other hand, I stay in apartments a lot. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of bigger so apartments. Standing so I'm standing still, lobby. and people go by, you know? They come in, they go, oh, you're done? No, you're not done. They leave. They, they say, oh, you're going to be done in a second? Oh, okay. And I say, oh, I'll just be another second. You can hang out in a minute. And some people say, oh, no, I'll come back. And some people say, you know, they kind of chat for a little while. I have this week's found right here. Oh. Um, would you like to peruse it? I'll take a look. Just so you know, I don't have my reading glasses on. Is this page, which, where do we start? Here? Okay. Starting in junior high school, somebody drank a lot and when we dated, well school, somebody would fun. have episodes when we had people over. The problem started bad. seeming to get out of hand when I started, then about December he started lying a lot. Episode number two. A couple of times I woke up and he wasn't home at 4 a.m. Number four. Last Saturday drink episode. That's it. This is, this is, do you think this is something I think somebody's, where'd you find this? Found that on the ground on the route. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I find stuff like this too. And it's, it's like that you, kind of a wireistic feeling sometimes. You're peering into somebody's life. You don't know who this person is. It's strange. I notice how it just kind of ends abruptly. Right. Or last, maybe, maybe last Saturday drink episode. Yeah. And then that's it. Is there I, another I, page? I think we're missing some stuff. Do you think we're missing yeah. another page? I think we're missing a page, maybe two. Eh, half of ice, and it's okay. It's okay. But I've really, I, I've really like come Mac accustomed to Mac and Jack. Not for old people, by the way. I'm discovering that. Rolling Rock. <laughs> Let's go get some paper. Hey, for Witzen. I almost got the solid ball in. I like playing with Lloyd because I don't have to do much. It's a real shame I don't get to display my talent. You know. Oh. I left you one. Turn the camera off. <laughs> 